We are suffering from a terrible heat wave here in England at the moment. Um, actually, this heat wave has been quite good because, on the whole, uh, when the days are bright, it's been uh, arid heat, which I don't have a problem with. But just of late, it's gone quite um, uh, overcast and it's not sunny, it's just warm, and that means. It ends up being muggy, and when you're somebody my size, that's not pleasant at all. Um, I have to say, the one thing that I've noticed about this house concerning uh, heat is just how hot it gets. Um, and there's two reasons for that. The first reason is it's timber framed, so it's very good um, in conserving energy. If it's cold inside, it generally tends to stay cold. If it gets hot inside, it stays hot. The other reason um, is because of the windows. Uh, you know, because they are not double glazed yet, um, and because they're not sash windows, they're the type that basically you prop them open on little sticks. And to tell you the truth, you can only ever open the window about that much, um, which doesn't really help letting the air in for a start. Um, the way I always do it is try and get uh, a wind tunnel and uh, on a night you'll often see um, that the front door is open and the back door is open and there is a, a, a wind, uh, a natural wind that just sort of forms down this slope and it runs through the house. But that doesn't help me upstairs where I um, sleep and unfortunately uh, it's been a really bad week sleep wise and that tends to mess me up a little. Um, the other thing is that it's been a very labour intensive uh, week with the allotment because uh, I've carried the can this, this week on my own. Uh, my parents are away, uh, they're on holiday. Um, in fact, uh, my father had his birthday on holiday so I haven't seen him yet to give him his gift or anything like that. Um, my nan was on holiday as well, everybody was on holiday. Uh, but it meant that I was doing the allotment uh, alone last week and I wanted to get a good start uh, on, on doing some proper work. Um, so I was there for Sunday, you know, all day. Uh, well, at least all morning and, and part of the afternoon. Um, uh, and the biggest thing that I managed to do there, which actually took me a lot longer than I thought I was going, it would take, uh, was the uh, ability to net the red current uh, bush, which is, you know, uh, a large proportion of the size of this room, to be totally honest. It is massive, and of course we only have little bits of uh, uh, netting here and there, because we haven't actually purchased any special yet. We're using the old stuff first, and so it was a case of trying to wind it round, and oh dear, it took me, it took me about an hour to get this um, this uh, this bush uh, bird proof <laughs> because pesky and now the fruit is ripening pesky will be after it pesky is a blackbird uh, having said that I have had my foot more than my fair share of the harvest of uh, strawberries they started almost as soon as we sort of inherited the plot really uh, and my parents sort of generally took the first set of uh, produce there and because they've been away this this week <clears throat> I've taken it I have to say um, I don't run on fruit and veg <laughs> uh, it's just a fact I eat more now than I did but it's not something that I I would say you know is I don't think oh my goodness fresh fruit yeah need some of that um, so for me the, the the fun of the allotment is growing the, the produce, it's not really eating the produce after. Um, and so I was fine with, <laughs> with them having most of the strawberries, it didn't really sort of bother me. Um, but this week of course to stop them all rotting on the, on the, the, the vine, because of the heat they were ripening so quickly. Uh, yeah, I had to remove them and once removed, well I, 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 I admit I did eat them. Um, and they were very nice, very juicy um, and very sweet as well. Uh, so that's good. Um, I am going uh, on a special sort of 
personal retreat on uh, Monday, which I had wanted to do last week, uh, but couldn't because uh, I had the Tonsil of Doom follow-up appointment at the hospital, which was as stupid as the first. Oh, it looks exactly the same. Oh, I think we'll do exactly the same. Absolutely nothing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the NHS. Um, so uh, we're not doing anything with that. Um, and of course it has, it couldn't possibly have any bearing on having caused the neuralgia at all. Um, so uh, there we are, That's, that was his official word anyway. Um, uh, and then uh, the camera, camera 5 broke. Now camera 5 has actually done more than two years because it was a, a second purchase for me uh, when I was filming my sister's wedding. Uh, so it was outside of its warranty and so I had to invest in another camera which went sort of trading around trying to find one and then buy one. So by that point the, the day, what I wanted to do with the day was it was too far gone. Um, so we're now on camera number six. I do still have camera four but it doesn't, it doesn't really, it's, it's not good quality at all. I almost never use it. Um, it's sort of a backup in case the camera I, the main camera I'm using breaks down and it takes too long to find another one. Uh, but, so this is a new camera, camera 6 that we're filming on here. Um, and I think that's about it for this week. I can't think of anything else, you know, particularly exciting or special that happened. Um, you know, apart from the fact, you know, I do apologise to anybody who um, I might have been narky with this week, but the heat, uh, you know, the heat has, uh, the heat has got to me.